Hello everyone, I'm Sir Z, your science teacher from Kalayan Integrated School. This episode is for the grade 6 science class and our topic for today is mixture. The module that we will use for this lesson is this one. Once we're done with this video, you should be able to explain what mixture is, identify and describe the appearance of uniform or homogeneous mixtures and non-uniform or heterogeneous mixtures, and be able to classify mixtures as either uniform or non-uniform. Question, what is your favorite dish or ulam? Me, it's adobong sitaw, as we call it in Filipino. How about your favorite drink? Mine is brain freezing mango shake. Mmm, I love it. Have you seen a hollow block before? Yes, these are those heavy rough objects used to build houses and buildings. Can you tell me how to make a hollow block? A piece of hollow block is made up of water, sand, and cement. So why am I asking these questions? Because basically, almost everything around us is a form of mixture in one way or another. So mixture is a very simple topic. Napakadali. That is, if you will listen very carefully, okay? Let us define mixture. But before that, I need you to prepare your notebook and pen because I want you to post this video when needed to jot down important notes you need for your review. Are you ready? Let us read together loudly and confidently. A mixture is a physical combination of two or more different substances. These substances still retain their physical properties and can be easily separated by mechanical or natural means. Let us study and understand first what we have just read. A physical combination of two or more different substances, take note, different substances. So if you're mixing together a number of the same type of substances, then you're not making a mixture. Next, these substances still retain their physical properties. It means that when you mix these different substances together, each substance now in the mixture are still the same substance. You may still be able to see them with your naked eye because they're large enough to see, or maybe they became too small that you need to use a microscope to see them. But nonetheless, like I said, they are still the same even when they have been already mixed together with the other substances. Let's use what I have here in front of me as an example. Imagine these small pieces of toy plastic construction cubes of different colors are different substances. We have the colors blue, red, white, green, and yellow. Let's mix them together inside a container. Now that they are mixed, can you still identify the different particles that we place inside this mixture? Yes, we can still see those small yellow pieces, those blue ones, the reds, the white cubes, and the green small pieces. That is how mixture works. Mixture is a physical combination of different substances, but these substances did not change because there was no chemical change that took place. They retained their physical properties, although sometimes they became too small that we could no longer see them with our naked eyes. Now look at this picture. Do you know what this is? Very good. It is halo halo one of our favorite cold desserts during summertime. By just looking at the picture, can you identify the different ingredients mixed together to make this halo halo? At this point, I need you to get your pen and paper and I want you to list down the ingredients in the halo halo that you see from the picture. Don't list anything that you do not see from the picture, okay? Pause this video and work now on your list. Very good. You are able to tell the ingredients because you can still see them in the picture using only your eyes. How about this one? Do you know what were the substances mixed together in this hot cup of coffee? Right. In this cup, we have water, coffee powder, milk powder, and sugar crystals. Question. Can you still see the water in this mixture? How about the coffee powder? Can you still point where in the mixture are the milk powders or the sugar? Well, at this point, we can no longer see each and every substances that were mixed in. However, it doesn't mean that they are gone. 
If I drink this cup of coffee, I will still be drinking the water. I will still be able to taste the coffee and the sweetness of both sugar and the milk are also still present. Like I said, in a mixture, the different substances are only physically combined. So the substances kept their physical properties and did not change. Additional notes, you go write this down. Mixture can be made out from different substances of different states. You can combine solid, liquid, and gas to create a mixture. Now let's talk about the different types of mixtures. There are two classifications of mixtures. The first one is called uniform or homogeneous mixtures, while the other one is called non-uniform or heterogeneous mixtures. What is uniform or homogeneous mixtures? Homo is a Greek word meaning same. Gene is another Greek word that means kind. So homogeneous means the same kind. Homogeneous mixture is a type of mixture that after mixing, all the substances combined are now appearing like one or a single kind of substance. Ibig sabihin sa mata natin, nagmumukha na siyang parang iisang uri ng substance lang. Kahit na marami tayong hinalo. At hindi na parang iba't ibang bagay na nagsama-sama or nagtabi-tabi. It is called uniform mixture because the different substances combined were uniformly or evenly and totally spread out inside the mixture. Here are some examples of uniform mixtures. Coffee drink, gelatin, soft drink, clouds, salt solution, and alcohol solution. For your notes, the definition of uniform or homogeneous mixture will be type of mixtures with components that are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Commonly, the mixed particles are no longer visible or distinguishable. What is non-uniform or heterogeneous mixtures? Non-uniform or also called heterogeneous mixtures are the opposite of homogeneous mixtures. In a non-uniform mixture, the components or substances mixed together are usually larger and that you can still identify them because these particles are still visible to our eyes. So medyo malalaki pa yung parts ng uh, mixture if we are talking about non-uniform or heterogeneous mixture. Examples of non-uniform mixtures are sand and water suspension. Mixed nuts can be a mixture of different nuts like peanuts, green peas, corn, pili nuts, and other kinds of nuts. Spaghetti can have hot dogs, noodles, sauce, meat, and other ingredients that we put in our spaghetti. Pebbles and rocks is another good example of non-uniform mixtures. For your notes, non-uniform or heterogeneous mixtures can be described with components in the mixtures are usually larger, particles in the mixture are still visible and can still be identified, can be easily separated, hetero is a Greek word that means different. I have already mentioned that mixtures can be made from combining different kinds of substances and also from different matters of different states. We're talking about the different states or phases of matter, namely the solid, liquid, and the gas. Which means that we can combine, for example, a liquid substance to another liquid substance, and also liquid with a gas substance, or a liquid to a solid substance. Let us study the following. This is an ice cream. Although an ice cream appears to be solid, it is basically a cream. A cream is a type of liquid. So therefore, this mixture of different ice cream flavors is a liquid-to-liquid -liquid mixture. A pineapple juice mixed with cold water is another example of liquid-to-liquid -liquid mixture. While a bunch of candies is obviously a mixture of solid-to-solid -solid objects. To summarize our lesson, Mixture is a combination of two or more different substances physically mixed together and can still be separated by mechanical or natural means. Mechanical meaning meron kang gagawin or meron kang gagamitin. Natural means hahayaan mo siyang mag-isa na maghiwalay. Homogeneous or uniform mixture is a type of mixture with particles that are evenly spread out, appears as a single substance, and the components are usually no longer visible or distinguishable. 
Heterogeneous or non-uniform mixture is a mixture with particles that are usually large and that the components are still visible or distinguishable. To simplify, if a mixture appears to be a single substance, it is a uniform or homogeneous mixture. But if in a mixture you can still identify one or more of its components, it is automatically a non-uniform or heterogeneous mixture. A mixture can be made by combining solids, liquids, and gases. That is all for now and I hope you have listened very well with our discussion. Go now to your modules and using what you have learned from this video, answer the activities in it with complete confidence. Thank you class and God bless. This is Sir Z, your science teacher and explorer buddy. See you next week for your next week's module and lesson. Bye for now.